What's going on guys, Coach Malik here. Welcome to another video. In this video we are going over nine arm exercises that are my favorite that I do right now in my routine. Size, strength, it all depends on your rep range and the volume that you're gonna do per workout. So right now I'm doing chest press. Now some of you are gonna say this is a chest workout. There's gonna be different exercises in this workout that I do that are more of like a chest or a back. But in my opinion, after training for, I think myself 13 years, personal training for 10, that if you wanna build your arms, and I'm talking growth, hypertrophy, you're gonna to have to strain them in some sort of heavy resistance. Whether it's deadlifts, rows, bench press, something whether the bench press will get your triceps the deadlift will get your biceps because it's still as you're holding that barbell heavy you know your biceps are at full extension um rows lat pull downs pull ups i'm not saying i did all those today but somehow in an arm workout i will add one of those compound movements or heavier movements here i start off the workout i like to start my workouts with those heavier movements so i'm starting off with the chest press incline and then if you watch my Recent video, I talk about a 15, 10, 5 rep scheme. So that's for size and strength. If you're going to go for more cardio, more supersets, you want to go for more, you know, toning, you don't necessarily want to go heavy. You can go less weight, more reps, 12, 15, and go three sets. Or you can go more heavy and go more sets. If you want to go reps of five, then you can go up to four, five, or even six sets. So here I do, I think, four sets of incline bench press. Pretty heavy. First set was 135, but I didn't film that set. Try to only film about one to two sets per exercise, so I'm not filming my whole workout. I like to stay pretty focused as much as I can if my headphones aren't popping out. And uh, the second exercise after the chest press I did was tricep extension. So here we're on the ropes, cables. Um, I try to start the exercise. Uh, here's a little tip. You'll see this in the next clip. With my hands a couple inches above that bottom notch because as I'm going down on these triceps, my hands actually slide down. Um, I don't know if yours will, but mine always slide down. So I always recommend if you're doing the ropes, just start a little bit higher. And then as you're going, it's, you could even see my hands now they're starting to slide down. So start high. And then as you're going on, squeeze the triceps and even try to separate your wrists at the bottom. Then after that, we go to the bicep curl machine. Now there's two different preacher curl machines I did today. This one isn't available at every gym. Uh, the one I do after this is going to be more frequent. Maybe you'll have it at your gym. This one is only, uh, I've only seen it at this gym, the one I go to, Fitness SF here in Corte Madera. Um, but I love it. I do more tempo here. Less weight is another way you can isolate the biceps or isolate a muscle is by tempo training it. So I go three seconds down, two, three, and then zero seconds up or as fast as I can up. Tempo training is great. You can do this on any exercise, especially on isolation exercises. It's great. You want to do as much weight, um, but you can have more control, and it's going to fire up different fibers that you wouldn't have if you're doing a heavier weight. After that, I go straight to the lateral raises. These are literally one of my favorite shoulder exercises. It helps broaden out your shoulders. One of my biggest goals when I was a kid was to have wide shoulders, and this exercise helps me personally the most. So I do these very quite often. If you see me at the gym, you see me probably do these four times a week. Um, so I love these. Sometimes I do them heavy, sometimes I do them light. Here I'm going a little bit light because I superseted them with the curls. After that, we're going to move on to the chest press. So here you can either do it standing. It's up to you. I do it seated right now. Um, sometimes I do it standing, sometimes I do it seated. Right now I'm doing it seated, and I'm coming out with a flat chest fly on the cable. Sometimes I come out with the chest flies on the bottom, so I'm coming up, and sometimes I come even with the chest flies coming from the top, and I come down, but today we're going flat chest flies. Again, people are gonna say this isn't the arms, it's more chest, but again, I'm trying to hit a little bit of upper body, and for me, when I say arms, I kinda mean toning, so I'm not doing a lot of like shoulder press this day, I'm doing more curls, more tricep extensions, shoulder work, and um, flies always work that front shoulder well. After that, we go to a machine row. Again, trying to go a little bit heavier. Um, tension on that bicep. I believe this is 80 pounds right now or 100 pounds. So it's not super, super heavy on the back, but it would be pretty heavy for the bicep. Um, so this is kind of getting that outside of the bicep. Again, I'm trying to focus on the bicep. You see me closing my eyes there, that mind-muscle connection. When you're doing an exercise, 
Try to really focus your mind on that muscle that you're working. Give it that attention, and I promise it's going to help you get more results that way. Mind-muscle connection. After that, we go to a superset. Now, this one I do rear delts, rear delt flies, lateral raise, and then front flies. So technically, I've already done the lateral raise, but this one I do it seated. I'm really just trying to burn out my shoulders. This is at the end of the workout. It's really my workout finisher for my shoulders. I think I did hit a little bit more arms, uh, biceps after this. But for shoulders, it was my last one. So I started with the rear delt flies, great for the back of the shoulder. I go straight to the side shoulder, lateral raises. Again, I'm going a little bit lighter than my last set, but it's just a burnout. So here I'm just trying to get the blood flowing in the shoulder, trying to get the muscle just tearing up a little bit, not too much. And then following this, I go straight to front raises. Front raises, again, getting that front shoulder. So this whole superset or this whole circuit, I'm hitting the back of the shoulder, the side of the shoulder, and the front of the shoulder. Now I'm doing 15 reps here. If you wanted to do more weight, you could do less reps. You can go 10 reps each. It's totally up to you and your goals. Um, right now I'm just trying to burn out, so I did 15 reps each for the rears, for the sides, and for the fronts. The last two exercises I do is the preacher curl machine. This is the one that's going to be a little bit more common for your gym. And this is one of my favorite exercises for the arms. Has always been, probably will always be, is that preacher curl machine. Especially at the end of the workout, you could really burn out that bicep. Again, going slow on that eccentric movement or controlling it on that eccentric movement on the way down. And then squeezing that bicep on the way top. Again, this was one of my favorite exercises of growing the arms, growing the biceps. And then following that, supersetting it with hammer curls, medium to heavy. Try this out. It's great. It's a great pump for your arms. Again, one of my favorite supersets have, has always been, still always will be, is that preacher curl, hammer curl combo. Try it out. If you guys like this video, like, comment, and share this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more fitness content here in the future. Again, guys, I appreciate all you guys paying attention. And if you want something, a video for me to make in the future, let me know down in the comments. Remember, be certain in yourself, be certain in your skills, and be consistent in your actions because consistency is key. See you next week.